Hi and welcome to another YouTube video. In today's video I want to show you this cute little fantasy castle that I've built and this build was actually not supposed to turn out this way even though I'm quite pleased with the outcome but initially I was inspired by this secret world where I'm building called Sylvan Glades and I had like some massive plans. I wanted to do this big storybook kind of build that's still going to come so I'm not going to talk too much about my plans but but yeah, then I came actually to Sylvan Glade and cheated my way into the build mode and realized how small this lot actually is. So I had to scrap these plans and was actually kind of confused of what I should do now. I had a few ideas but none of them were really like striking me or working for me. And then I stumbled upon this image of like a painting of a small little castle that I had saved as an inspiration picture a couple months ago and I was like, oh my god yes this is perfect so this was my inspiration and from that point forward this build was such a joy to build it was so fast it went so easily like it was really not a difficult or complicated build to do even though I would say that from the outside it looks like quite an like a rich expensive detailed complicated build but it's really not and that was such a pleasant surprise but first let's very quickly talk about Sylvan Glade the world where I've built this I know most or some of you probably already know about this so I'm going to make it quick but in case you don't know in Willow Creek in the Foundry Cove I think it's called it's a neighborhood with all of these starter houses in Willow Creek and where also like summer holiday in Travis Scott live in that little green corner near the river there is this kind of weird looking tree that with a little bit of time you can talk to you can water that tree and you'd also compliment it for its leaves and stuff very handy stuff and then when you've built up a little bit of a relationship with that tree there is a door within that tree that is going to open you can go in there and you for like there are going to be some text pop-ups and then first you're going to click I think follow the sound and in the next text it says something I think about a river that you have to follow downstream and then you are almost there and just have to click like and uh, I think go into the mist or something and then you can enter still and glade the world that this is built in and I have to say it's really a beautiful world so yeah you're going to come in through this world and everything has like a pinkish touch like lighting wise and there are a bunch of like pink trees and everything looks a little bit fantasy like so I've always wanted to build there and to build there you have to put in a little bit of a cheat you can open the cheat console with Control shift and C and then you're going to write a bb dot enable free build and when you have put that in into the little cheat box then you can go into build mode and build there and that was the moment that I've realized how small the lot there actually is. I think it's like a 20 by 15 or something so really not that much space for a castle but I kind of made it work I would say. Sadly I couldn't change the lot type that this build was. It was kind of a special lot type like you have in a couple of worlds. I think Windenburg also has a special lot type in this kind of pool area that you can't change and similar it is here so this is not a residential lot but it has everything that a residential lot needs and it's kind of uh, like the concept kind of was for a residential lot so inside we have just like normal a living room a dining room a kitchen two bedrooms and three bathrooms I kind of fit into this little space I mean it had a lot of height space so I guess that's how it fit in there but yeah so this is concepted conceptualized the concept was a residential build for the interior of this little castle um, but it is not in the gallery but you can easily change it if you place it on another lot but with all of that out of the way I would say it is finally time that we talk a little bit about this build so I would classify the like the style of this build as medieval fantasy I think that's kind of fitting because we have these stone portions with the high towers and stuff and the blue roofs that I would classify a little bit more as fantasy as and then we have the half 
soft tempered portions with the red roofs that are a little bit more medieval-esque and uh, yeah I thought they fit in so so well together they worked great together I mean I did have the reference picture and it already looked great in the reference picture so I can't, can't really take credit for that I'm not going to try to but I do say that I think it worked quite well in this iteration as a sims build and I also got to use my favorite windows again which are the strangerville windows you can't really do much else with the strangerville pack but I have to say these windows and the roof decorations are just 10 out of 10 for building so yeah I was very happy that I got to use them this is not really a limited pack build I kind of just like just started building and did use use a couple of stuff I definitely use get together strangerville and university um i don't know if i used uh, something else inside maybe vampires so i'm very sorry that is it uses a bunch of packs but i'm going to try to build a different build with let's less packs like using less packs in the near future i also already have some plans so we're going to do that and i'm very excited about that but with this one i was just like building vibing having fun while building this so i didn't really pay much attention to which packs i was using and which i wasn't and something else apart from using my favorite windows that i got to do that i was super happy about was that i kind of decided to do a double layered ivy or a like like wallflower or wall I don't know wall pond ranking around the walls which was that first I used the like normal ivy that we got from get together as kind of an underlayer to show like at which places I wanted there to be ivy or wisterias because then as a second step I went in with the wisterias that we got from the uh, country living or cottage living uh, not stuff bag it's way too big for a stuff bag that we got for the cottage living expansion pack there we go um, and had them also on the same places where I had this like undercoat of ivy and leaves and I thought that it looked very nice very like 3d and like very thick leaves I don't know it, it really was fun to do and I really like the effect that it had in the end and then when it came to the landscaping around the build I did decide to go a lot for the color purple because the color purple went really well with the surrounding with this pink lighting the pink trees all around also then I had the red roofs and the blue roofs and I don't know I was just kind of feeling purple so I used a bunch of purple all around with the landscaping and that also was kind of like just going super easy and fast and I don't know it just came out of me and yeah I don't know why but I'm just having a super good time with building lately which I am really enjoying because when I was so stressed the last few weeks about my last uni exam which I passed by the way woohoo <laughs> um but yeah I was so stressed with studying and everything that I didn't really get to enjoy it anything that much and then when I was done with the exam I was sick for a week and I was feeling very down very sick um, not feeling well so now I'm back I'm healthy I don't have as much uni stuff to do just writing a bachelor's thesis but other than that don't have much uni stuff to do um, which is super nice and uh, yeah I'm back with so much energy and so much inspiration and so much fun at building like for example yesterday I had a 12 hour stream um, which was crazy I am usually not that good at talking even though now I'm really enjoying talking for YouTube videos and stuff but I like back in school and stuff I was really not good at talking and I was not talking much so this is such a huge step for me and doing it for 12 hours seemed crazy to me before but it was a really really good and fun stream I had the most amazing time but it was very taxing on like my voice and I, I, I don't know also my skin so that's why I'm just doing a voiceover and maybe my voice is sounding kind of weird I'm trying to make it sound as pleasant and as normal for you to listen to as possible but my voice is still kind of sore and also that's the reason why I'm doing this video without a camera because my skin is just like needing a little break from the makeup and my eyes are needing a little break from the contact lenses and the bright lights so I'm just doing it as a voiceover and I hope that's okay for you but next video I'm also going to be back and talking to you via camera but yeah I was just talking about what 
great of a time I'm currently having with just building and sims again and I have so many build projects I have two already finished this was the first one that I wanted to get out because I was so happy with it and I have so many more plans and yesterday in the 12 hour stream I got almost three com com complete big builds done and also one three minute build because I was doing a three minute versus 30 minute versus three hour build challenge which was so much fun and I'm linking my twitch channel in the description so you can still check out the board it's going to be there for two weeks I hope you can like kind of get the chance to check out some of it but if you don't want to because it's a long stream I completely understand that as well oh, also I just noticed that the last sentence hasn't really much made much sense yet so two of the bigger builds were done in the 30 minutes and the three hours there was one three minute build that I did and also after eight hours of streaming I did a no mistakes build challenge um, which I almost completed but then we went on to do another thing like another program point that I had planned for the 12 hour stream so I didn't really complete that but that's why it was like three almost complete like big builds and one three minute build that didn't really make much sense before so sorry for that <laughs> But now let's talk about this build again and also the interior. This interior was such a fun process and it kind of reminded me of building a tiny home or a micro home because it kind of also felt like this puzzle where you have in your mind what kind of things you want to have in your build and then you kind of have to puzzle it together to see how everything fits. And this was not as small as a micro home of course because it is a castle after all even though it's small for a castle um, but yeah, this had such a weird shape that it still was kind of difficult to fit in everything that I wanted to have in there. But I would say I managed it quite well. But in the living room, only three of these six chairs are actually usable. But three chairs are very nice as well, I would say. And yeah, other than that, everything's play tested, everything's working. Even though I don't really know if that's going to be your usual build that you do some games gameplay in so I don't know how important the playtesting actually was but just in case you were wondering everything else actually works. In the second story I imagined a teen or a preteen living so they have a double bed but still everything is kept in like one tone it's kind of this very light purple purple color and some white tones which I thought was very nice like for example a child that grew up there and always saw the purple flowers outside and really loved the colors so they wanted their room in this light purple color I thought that was a nice idea so there is still this like a little bit childish rug with the purple flower and stuff while also having some more adult features like the I think it's called a vanity uh, the white one and the double bed and stuff and they also have their own bathroom which I thought was very nice nice and the hallway in the second story is pretty narrow even though it has these gorgeous doors to this little little balcony outside and I think this balcony isn't as important for like what's on the balcony because it's very little but I do imagine it having a very nice view around the area on that balcony so I guess that is why the balcony has such a prominent entry um, but yeah other than that there's a pretty narrow hallway with a little ladder going up one more story and I also managed to fit in a kind of a desk setup for the teen living there into the hallway um, which I was kind of proud about because this hallway was not a lot of space and I think that the desk was a pretty nice use of the space. I also debated in my head if maybe I wanted to put an easel there to paint but then I decided for the like little office desk space and I'm kind of happy with that decision. And then even higher in this little castle are uh, the bedroom, like is the bedroom of the main owners of this castle, like the, what's the word again? Uh, the master bedroom, that's the word that I was looking for. And they also have an ensuite bathroom, but it's not 
exactly on speed. It's kind of, um, there is also a ladder upstairs to the highest point in the tower where their bathroom is like their own kind of special bathroom. And then downstairs, they also have like normal bedroom stuff like a bed and a drawer and a mirror and stuff, but also a little office space. So I would say there was not that much space in this quote unquote castle, but I think I used it quite well. I think the inside turned out cute, but I like the exterior better. But yeah, let me know in the comments which part of this castle do you like? Where could I improve? What would be your ideas for to build inside Sylvan Glade on this super small little lot? And yeah, I really hope that you liked and enjoyed this video. If you would consider subscribing, you would make me super duper happy and I hope we'll see each other again.